don't use for loops in pandas. This is something that I tell every single class that I teach in Pandas, and it's hard for many people, especially those who have lots of experience in Python, because in Python we use for loops everywhere, strings, lists, tuples, dictionaries, files, everything supports a for loop or tries to, and it becomes a natural way of doing things. But in Pandas we have much better ways of doing things that are way, way faster and more natural in the Pandas environment. If I say here import, pandas as pd and i'm going to load it with my favorite file so i'll say file name equals users or event courses current data and then i'll say here this taxi.csv this is a csv file with 10,000 taxi rides from probably about 10 years ago already so i'm going to say df equals pd read csv of file name and if we say df shape we're going to see that is indeed well 10,000 minus one because there is the header uh, row so what can i do to sort of prove this to you well, let's say I want to create a new column. Let's call it dollars per mile that will calculate a uh, total amount divided by trip distance. All right, and these are two columns that are in this data structure, in this data set. I've used this data set for years and years and years already from New York City taxis. It's very common, it's great to work with. So how do I do this? Well, if I were using sort of standard Python techniques, I would do something like this, I would say, for index in df index let's get the index one by one and then i'll say here uh let's do this df let's calculate right trip distance equals df dot lock of index and trip distance and i'll do the same thing for total amount equals df lock of index and total amount so far so good all right, so if I want to do dollars per mile, let's actually swap these so it'll be in the right order. And then I can say something like df lock of index and dollars per mile is going to be equal to total amount divided by trip distance. Is this going to work? And the answer is sort of, kind of, but not really. And the answer is, I'm going to stop this here, that sometimes trip distance is going to be zero, and then we get a division by zero error. Well, it's really a warning, but we don't want all these ugly warnings. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say here, if trip distance, meaning if it's not zero, then yeah, we'll do that calculation. But otherwise, I'll say df lock of index and dollars per mile equals, and let's say here, let's just load up. I'm going to load it up in a previous one. I'm going to say here, import uh, uh, numpy as np. I'm also going to import time for reason, as you'll see. And I'll say this should be np.nan. Okay, so I'm going to go through this one by one by one and do this calculation, and here we go, and we're done. How long did that take? It didn't feel like very long. I mean, it's 10,000 rows, so it shouldn't take that long. Let's find out. I'm going to say here start time equals, and I'm going to say here time dot uh, perf timer. All right, and then I'm going to say here end time equals time dot perf timer. And this is better used than time dot time for a variety of reasons. Then I can say here, total time equals end time minus start time. And then we'll just print it, print, and we'll say here, total time colon 0.2 F, that'll round it off to two digits after the decimal point. And we run this, and I got something wrong because uh, time dot perf counter, the counter, not timer. There we go. Now it'll work just fine. And we see it comes out to 0.99, basically one second, right? If I run it again, it'll do this. Yeah, one second. Okay, that doesn't seem so bad, right? One second is pretty good. How else could we do this? Well, if we want, we can use pandas vectorized operations. Are these gonna be faster? Let's find out. So I'm gonna say here, df of dollars per mile equals df of total amount divided by df of trip distance. All I'm doing here is I'm taking one column and dividing it by the other column. Now this will result in infinite values, np.inf, because I'm divided by zero sometimes. So to make it fairer, I'm going to say, okay, df dollars per mile equals df of dollars per mile. And we'll say here dot replace, and we'll say np.inf with np.nam. All right, let's just make that like fair. Okay, so we run this, and it's done. How long did this take? Well, let's play the same game, right? So I'm going to say here, we're going to start the perf timer and end the uh, counter. Got it wrong again. And it says here, zero. It took no time. I mean, that's pretty fast, right? So let's do something else. I'm going to say here, 
percent percent time it to get rid of this comment here. And what that's going to do is run it a whole lot of times and tell us the average. That's a magic command in Jupiter. And if we run this here, it's going to run it again and again and tell us the average. And the average is, I'll tell us in just a moment. I'll tell you, I'll spoiler alert, it's going to be way, 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 way less. What it does is it runs it so many times. Here we go, 153 microseconds. That means that, <laughs> right, if basically, if one second is broken into a million parts, it took up 153 of those million parts. This is many, many, many times, thousands of times faster than running the for loop for exactly the same effect. Now, as I like to say, perhaps you should use a for loop if you are paid by the hour. But generally speaking, for loops in pandas are a bad idea. They will waste your time, they will waste memory, and this is on a tiny little data set of 10,000 rows. Imagine if you had hundreds of thousands of rows or millions of rows. In fact, I was originally going to do this video on a data set with more than 10 million rows, and I decided it wasn't worth it because the amount of time it took to run the for loop, after 20 minutes, I just killed the thing off. It just wasn't worth it. So, bottom line, if you find yourself using a for loop in pandas on a, on a series or a data frame, you are almost certainly doing something wrong. Don't do it. Look for a vectorized operation that will perform the same thing. I promise you that the people who wrote pandas have figured out ways to do what you want to do in way less time, way more easily, and also just sort of more, um, like, look at all this code that I had to write, right? Sort of more tersely and, and succinctly. I hope this was interesting and useful. Let me know what you think. Comments, as always, are welcome. And I'll be back real soon with lots more about Python and pandas and everything in between. See you then.